Hey there, welcome back to another video in our series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the overlays function, which is a very important function within Plusby. Now, what are these overlays? Overlays are nothing but all these ready-made designs that you can see here. So many of them, ready-made designs like badges, buttons, or what else, testimonial tags. You've got so many different kinds, review badges, mockups. Mockups is, is, is one of the overlays, but we will talk about that specifically in a different video. We'll look at all the others. And these overlays can help you enhance your design, create uh, more visual appeal and so on. Now, over the last uh, few days, Jasper and team have been working to revamp the overlays function and they did. Now, kind of overlays gives you effortless editing. It's pretty fast. And one of the biggest uh, updates is that now overlays are groups. So when you add any of these designs into your, your graphic design, it's going to appear as a group and it's going to load very fast, at least four times faster than before. Right. Uh, here's something else. We will look at all of this that I'm just talking to you now in detail, but you can uh, click on each layer of the group and edit it individually without having to ungroup them. That's that's a feature that I've been waiting for and they did it. So without further ado, let's actually get into the video. Let's find out what we can do with these overlays. On the screen, you can see a design that I created using just the overlays, just the overlays. I've got two overlays here. One is a best price. I don't know where or which one I used, but it's it's in here okay and it's not violet sunday it's it was black black friday i changed it to violet sunday so you can do whatever you want and i added a button also here the only other change that i did to this slide was i added a background gradient that's it now we'll look at how to create or edit or change all of these in the coming slides let's go to the next one so in this uh, example we're going to actually pick these badges, these badges have uh, added them from the Black Friday badges. You can see them here, this one specifically. Now, of course, uh, let me just say, sorry, you can hear a lot of background noise, but I cannot help it. But this video had to be uh, done so that you can benefit. So please ignore the background noise and let's focus on what we're doing on screen. Now here, um, Let's leave this first badge aside. Let's go to the second one. When you click on any particular layer, for example here, you can see that that particular layer is selected. Now you can go ahead and change the color. Let's change the color to it's Black Friday, but let's change it to Yellow, Yellow Friday. You want to change the font of the sale text. Let's change the font to something else. Okay. There we go. We just change the font. Now, what if we want to change this red? So select the entire group and you have the red here. Click on that and update the color to something else. Black Friday sale. And then we have a totally different color. A look, okay. Now the other thing we can do is select a particular layer you want, for example, Friday, and then use the arrow keys to move it you can move your layer using the arrow keys this is a, a function that makes working with these groups very easy okay let's go to the next slide let's edit this text coffee to cocoa so how do we do it click on the group okay or your overlay that's once it'll select the entire group click on the specific layer now Okay, it has selected coffee. Now you go here to the three dots up here. Look at it, the three dots, click on that and you will see the text that has been highlighted. Now let's change it here. Coffee to, um, cocoa. What about this, Arabica coffee? So we selected that layer, go up here, Arabica, um, Amazonian cocoa, highest quality. Let's change highest quality to something else. Uh, 
ultimate okay and our changes are done there's so much more we can do let's move on to the next one now we're going to add a badge here and uh, let's actually resize it so let's choose another badge and i think this cyber monday so let's go with that okay let's go to that cyber monday is it here no it's all black friday let's choose one let's choose this and we're going to resize as soon as you add it you can see that you have the four corner handles that you can use to drag click and drag to resize now the handles have disappeared click on the overlay again the handles reappear click and drag i can't see what's in the background so let's add a background okay now we see what's included in this overlay we look at some examples of how you can use overlays in your designs okay that's how you resize your badge or your overlay now here's an example i've got a picture of a clothing store and i'm saying there's a super sale now i just don't i want i don't want it to be 50 percent discount i want it to be 75 so let's select that particular text go up here and instead of 50 we have 750 no 75% discount and we're done it's as simple as that where did I get this overlay uh, I think it's in one of the sales overlays let's look okay you have the cyber Monday badges there sales sales Let me go down sales tag badges uh, you can pick it up from here there's a lot I think it was this one that I use yeah there's so many that you can use Let's look at another example. Now I've got a picture of um, a vegetable market here and I added a badge from the organic badges. Organic, let the organic badges. A few, but they're sufficient for you for different kinds of designs. Choose the one that works well with your brand, change your brand name and add any other text and you're done with your ad or your design. Let's look at the next one. Now here's something interesting. Uh, in the overlays, we also have these tool tips. Let's scroll down. We have tool tips here that you can actually use. So I got a picture of a DSLR menu. This is the shutter speed. And I added a tool tip. So when I add, how do I add the tooltip? Just go to tooltip, scroll down to tooltips, view all, choose the one that you want, click on it. So if I click on something, I'm going to get this. I resized it, change the color and change the text. And you know how to do that already. I'm not going to show that to you again. And then I give an example of what the shutter speed could do. So I added a Polaroid overlay. That's again here. Scroll down until you see the Polaroid, Polaroid, here we go. Polaroid overlay, there are five different versions of uh, Polaroid photos. Just pick any of them, add it in, change a picture. Now, I'll show that to you in the next few slides. Here's another one, vintage labels. Vintage labels and I got a jeans background. Now I see, I changed this one from vintage labels to vintage fashion. And I see that the text here, it's not aligned to the center. Now, how could I do that? Using the Alt key on the keyboard and with that layer selected, I'm going to use the down arrow. Okay, let's do it again. Hold on the Alt key, use the down arrow and you can move it pixel by pixel to the position that you want. Now that's, that's another uh, update to the overlays function and I think you're going to love this function. Here's another example. Now in this example, we're going to change the picture, the name and the review. Of course the review, I'm really not going to change anything but let's look at how to change the picture. So select the picture. Okay. Let's select the picture there. You don't want to add the mask. If you're having trouble selecting the picture, click, it selected everything, click again, it selected the outer, click again. Now it's selected only the picture. So just make sure that when you click, 
you are clicking only on the layer that you want to change after you click the picture there's a replace image here so click on that you are immediately taken to the photos let's say portrait let's change it to something else okay let's use this there we go let's change the name now to something else you know how we have to change the name right Floyd Miles Okay, got the name changed and what about this text there's a lot of text here right so let's select the text that's the review okay review with new review material goes here whatever you want to put here as the review or the testimonial that goes here and that's as simple as this now you can enlarge this to fill up the entire slide or just download this entire uh, just this testimonial as the PNG and upload to your website let's look at one last example now Let's say we have a testimony here, but I don't want the stars. So how do I do that? Now, here's a little tricky thing. You really can't, I can select the stars, but uh, let me see, can I delete it? I can't delete it. It won't let me delete because all of this has been grouped. So if you want to delete some portion of the overlay that you don't want, you have to ungroup first. So let's select the whole thing. Let's ungroup it. Now let's click outside click on the star delete star delete star delete and we're done you can move the name down a little bit or make it a little bigger the star is not there and then you select that you change the image to something else and we're done now all you have to do is select the whole thing again and group group it so if you don't know where to select it this is the ungroup option click on that to ungroup everything then you can delete what you don't want once you're done with that select everything again and regroup group the layers together and you're done with your overlays all right so with that said i'll end this video for now i'll see you in the mock-ups video keep uh, look look for that because we have a lot to go over that and it's going to be interesting but for now take care try this out enjoy have fun and i'll see you in the next video